Hey there, I'm Jerry Fleming, and this is Ser Divino. So for today's number 22 wine, we're gonna be trying our Protos. It is a Roble wine uh, from the Ribera del Duero region. Um, it's a 2016 uh, red with, uh, it was actually a recommendation from our teacher, Jose Tomas. He uh, gave us a long list of recommendations uh, from Spain. It's absolutely uh, delicious, I'm guessing, without even having to uh, smell it. So we uh, know here that the River, uh, Ribera Dura region uh, is actually relatively new to the wine industry and just designated a region uh, by the DO in 1982. So still relatively new. Um, and now we have a bunch of wineries popping up everywhere. Uh, the first one I believe was Vega Cecilia. Um, that one like uh, was the first recognized one and now we have uh, geez oh my god uh, I think uh, I have it right here it was a uh, Penedes Nevada all these new ones popping up absolutely everywhere since then so it is limitless the amount they have so before we even start I'd like to say thank you for watching um, please follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Sarah Davino um, we always appreciate recommendations or any sort of uh, advice, suggestions, anything at all to help me with my wine journey. Uh, so please, like I said, I open, I'm very open to feedback. So we have a uh, giant wine glass here that we're going to be tasting it in. Uh, it's the best thing I could find for now. Um, and we have our classic Venturi to filter out all the tannins, which this one actually I've heard has quite a bit of tannins in it, so thank God we got you, Venturi. Thank you very much for making my wine tasting a little bit more enjoyable. So, for the Protos. That's a pretty generous sized glass. Didn't realize how much I was pouring for myself right there. So as it's definitely a purple hue to this. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting I have in here, but yeah, definitely purple tints around the edges. Uh, and like a, a dark, like red purple, obviously. So yeah, if you look at that, you can see legs maybe dropping down from there. Um, it does look pretty leggy, so definitely lost sugars in there. Like, definitely looks very sweet. I, I'm definitely picking up the classic red cherry and the spice and there's I want to say a citrusy element to this one almost very kind of brings a refreshing uh, taste to it Ooh, this one is very spicy right when it hits your mouth and then just hits like your back right here this spicy spicy spice like the acidity and the spice together oh my god make it well it makes it a lot this is definitely a sipper wine I can just tell right now yeah definitely pour myself a little bit too big of a glass I feel like but this one definitely is a it's enjoyable just you can't be drinking it very quickly like uh, I don't know the Last one I tried was my uh, Marquez de Caseros. Um, that one was definitely an easy, easy one to drink. Um, this one I think is a little bit higher in alcohol. This one's actually a 14% as opposed to like a 13 or even a 13 and a half is kind of a little bit higher for uh, the red wines I've been trying around here. Usually like uh, about 13 is what the average is from what I've been reading. So. These are actually made from all Tempranillo grapes, so it gives it that red berry and that, uh, what is that spice automatically, because Spanish wine is very famous for having that. Mm. Yep, I think it just, uh, yeah, that first sip I had was really just spicy in your mouth, so the second one now that I'm prepared for it is it's a lot more enjoyable. Uh, now that you know what to expect uh, after the first sip, it definitely goes down a little bit easier on that one. So, ooh. definitely would feel that this goes great with uh, a good strawberry. Um, 
maybe something uh, not quite as savory as a uh, like a meaty dish, a uh, light meat might be uh, more your style, like a jamón ibérica or a light cheese, like a brie uh, might maybe go with it. Um, also maybe just some uh, jam and jelly, like a, definitely not like a ribeye steak or like something hefty like a piece of bacon that's just overly salted. But yeah, this definitely, I can see myself drinking this with like a dessert, it's more of a dessert wine for sure. Um, ooh, I, Ooh. Yep, so that is my, uh, was it number 22 wine that we have right here. I don't have too much more to say about it. I'm still researching a lot about the Roble region and the, was it, Ribera, uh, Duero region, pardon my uh, pronunciation. But yeah, I'm uh, really looking forward to uh, trying number wine number 23. We got a lot more reds from Spain coming your way um, and got a little surprise on Saturday. All right, stay tuned and try to stay live. I believe it will be live at uh, 1 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. So please stay uh, in contact with me and let me know what I can do to make your experience. Or if you have any questions as to what uh, kind of wine would be, a Spanish wine would be good, please uh, ask. I'll do my best to answer. I appreciate all your time. And as always, please follow us at Ser Divino. I Appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you for following.